Hey there, sunshine. I hope that you're doing okay today. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, I really hope that I can help bring some relief or joy in your life today, even though that's kind of a bad thing to say because of the topic that we're talking about. Um, I wanna talk to you today about how you can be casually suicidal. I'm sitting here and it's late, but I have like three cups of coffee. So I threw on a shirt, threw on some lipstick because lipstick makes me feel like a bad bish. And I wanna talk to you guys about some topics that I really feel like needed to be talked about. Um, so I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna film videos. I might change my shirt, I might not, who knows. So you'll probably see a couple videos of me wearing the shirt, wearing the lipstick, whatever. It's not what I'm wearing that matters, it's what I'm saying, right? So let's talk about how you can be casually suicidal. And I'm not sitting here smiling because I think it's funny. I'm sitting here smiling because I want to let you know that it's okay and that everything's okay and that your life does matter. Like I'm trying to spread the joy while also talking about something that's really, really important. So I am somebody who is casually suicidal. And usually when I bring up my mental illness, people really start to get nervous. I've even had somebody tell me that my posts on Instagram that talk about my anxiety, my depression, my OCD, um, that they're cringy. It's not like I really care about their opinion, but it really just goes to show the stigma around mental health that our society still has. But when I usually tell people that I'm casually suicidal, I typically get somebody dialing up the suicide hotline because they think I'm about to jump off a bridge like right in front of them, which is totally not the case. And while this may be the proper thing to do in some situations, it's not really a proper thing to do in my situation. You see, like I'm casually suicidal. I'm in between the stage of my suicidalness where I'm low-key suicidal all the time but I'm going to try and explain this a little bit differently. Do I believe that the world would be a better place without me? Yeah sometimes I do. Usually when I'm like my depression gets really bad like that kind of bad right here and that dip I do believe that the world would be a better place without me. Sometimes I wish I was dead and do I want to kill myself? Yeah, sometimes, but have I ever made plans or am I going to kill myself? No, not at all. I know that this thought process isn't very good for my mental health and my mental health is definitely something that I'm working on. It's a constant uphill battle for me personally, especially because I'm fighting not only chronic physical illnesses, but my mental health as well. It's almost like my body is at this war with me and I ain't losing this one, but a lot of people have a hard time understanding that suicidal ideas can be a part, a symptom of depression. And I know in today's society, suicide can be an extremely scary thing to talk about, but we still need to talk about it no matter how scary or how inappropriate or cringy it is because suicidal thoughts are a side effect that come with mental illnesses. There's such a stigma wrapped around mental health, but if we take the time to discuss things such as casually suicidal, um, society can really begin to realize that mental illnesses are just as normal and as common as the common cold as the flu but this doesn't mean just because you're casually suicidal that you don't deserve help if you really feel like you are struggling with this you deserve help just as much as the next person does just because you aren't suicidal all the time just because you aren't in this constant state of having suicidal ideas doesn't mean that you don't deserve help or that you can't reach out to anybody if you are feeling that you might seriously hurt yourself call get help because help is available for you and nobody's gonna laugh at you just because you go yeah I'm only suicidal like a couple days of the week like you're still suicidal it's still not something that's normal or healthy like like you have a mental illness even if you haven't been properly diagnosed with the one even if you believe you have depression like talk to somebody talk to a therapist talk and call to a hotline talk to your parents because there are people out there who care about you and your life it does matter trust me your life matters so much like two years ago i well last year i graduated high school but like last year i was at the lowest point of my life like i was really bad and it was really 
I just didn't believe that I belonged and now I'm here telling you guys like hey it's okay we can be casually suicidal buddies because like it's a symptom of depression it is so common for these symptoms to pop up and people just think that they're suffering alone because mental health isn't something that's ever talked about which is why I wanted to talk about it with you guys today I really wanted to talk about it just to let you know hey you're not alone um I hope my positive attitude didn't really come off as mocking or anything like I said I have the same symptoms like I have OCD, depression, anxiety, I've been on medications and therapy to it for all but I know positivity can be such an important part of recovering and dealing with your mental health so I really want to try and spread my positive attitude, my positive mindset to you guys so I don't make your situation any worse. So that is it for this video. I'll probably see you in the next video. If not, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. I would always love to hear any questions, comments, concerns you guys have to share. Like, share your story. Please know my channel is a place of community where you can find love and support within each other, within the community. As always, I love hearing from you all and I will see you in my next video.